Hi there, this macro video looks at labour market participation. Now, labour market participation is the percentage of the working age population in a country that is either employed, they have a job, or actively seeking employment. Here's the data for the G7 countries, including the UK. A higher figure for labour market participation indicates a more active and productive workforce, and that can have positive effects on economic growth, uh, income distribution and also social well-being, the, the benefits of having a job. So one of the aims of government often is to try to get higher, move higher the labour market participation rate. UK, at the moment, it's a little, a little below 80%, uh, lower than in Japan, for example, a little lower than Canada. They're fairly similar. Italy, of course, well down. So what policies might improve labour market participation in the UK? Well, let me focus on three for you. The first, I think, undoubtedly, is affordable childcare. So providing affordable, accessible, good quality childcare can help parents, particularly mothers, to participate in the labour market. According to the OECD, the employment rate for mothers with children under the age of six was just 64% in the UK in 2021, compared to 87% for fathers. And the UK government, of course, with its subsidy for childcare, its tax-free childcare, is trying to address this issue. A second policy is improving access to affordable housing. High housing costs, renting in particular, can be a barrier to labour market participation. It reduces the geographical immobility of labour, especially in areas with a very high cost of living. And according to the English Housing Survey, the percentage of households in the private rental sector increased from 10% at the turn of the century to just under 20% the year before the pandemic. Just under half of 25 to 34 year olds were renting privately in 2019 and rents have gone up significantly. So my third policy is investment in the education and training of the labour force to boost human capital. So providing access to quality education, skills and training programmes can help people acquire the, the experience, the skills, the qualifications they need to enter and succeed in the labour market. Indeed, the employment rate for those with higher education qualifications was 88% in 2021, uh, but only 73% for those with no sort of formal uh, qualifications or skills. So that's clearly an issue that the UK government needs to address in terms of its policy. I think that the, the overall view is that you need a range of supply side policies and interventions to try to improve labour market participation. Affordable childcare, affordable housing, investment in human capital in the labour force. Now, labour market uh, participation has changed quite a bit in recent times. In the UK, since the, the final quarter before the pandemic, uh, we've seen here a, nearly a 1% reduction in labour market participation. There's been a big increase in economic inactivity, linked in large part to long COVID, hundreds of thousands of people suffering the lingering effects of the pandemic, and also uh, an increase in economic inactivity amongst people of working age in the late 50s and early 60s, many of whom have decided to retire early. So this is something the UK government is trying to address. So overall, I think those policies could help to improve labour market participation in the UK economy. If, if you can achieve that, you're supporting hopefully a faster growth and social well-being. Thanks for joining in. Take care. See you soon.